This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, Vincent here from thecreativedojo.net. Welcome to an After Effects video tutorial. Today we're talking about some of the new features in the After Effects 2023 that was just released recently. I'm gonna be talking about five new features that I really like, starting from my least favorite to my most favorite. Let's go ahead and get started. So for the first new update, it's actually under the composition, new composition, and they actually added new presets that we actually use very, very commonly on the web, social media, for example. We have 1080p, 4K, UHD, 8K, all the different frame rates, as well as aspect ratios for social media, portrait landscape square at different frame rates. This is awesome because these are very, very common presets that I use very often. And the older presets had some weird pixel aspect ratios and interlaced and stuff like that. So it's nice seeing that these presets were added to the very top, so it's very easy to find, very easy to use, very welcome change to the new update. Now the next new change involves the position of layers. So in the past, you could always go into the position right here, hit P on the keyboard, and you can always separate the dimensions. That has always been there. And I didn't really do this that often, but after doing it a lot for my recent projects, it actually makes a lot more sense to actually have things kind of separated, so it's easier. You don't have to deal with all these weird arrays for expressions to break up the X and Y and Z position. It's just a lot easier to work with separate dimensions, kind of like in Cinema 4D, and you can kind of keyframe everything separately that way. Then the new update, they actually added a preference setting under general. And you'll see this new option here that says default position properties to separated dimensions. If you check that, from now on, all the position data will be separate from X and Y. And that way you can kind of animate things separately that way. Just a little life hack if you do this a lot for your projects, whether it's for lower thirds or character animations, check it out. The next update kind of gives me mixed emotions. So if you go ahead and add this comp to the render queue, and we go into the output module, you'll see a familiar friend here. They actually re-added H.264 as an output option for the format after a long hiatus. You know, it was there in the past. It didn't really work very well. They removed it. So you had to render it with media encoder and all that stuff. And so now they kind of added it back in. I'm pretty sure they improved it. So it was a lot more stable compared to the first variant of it. Um, but they added it back in and now you can actually export directly from After Effects into H.264. But you know, after having been forced to use media encoder for such a long time, I've been kind of used to the habit of just rendering like a higher quality version, either ProRes or QuickTime, a less compressed version, and then converting it into H.264 for other means for social media and stuff like that separately. So I may continue to do that, but you now have the option to do that in After Effects, just something to keep in mind. Now, probably the biggest change to After Effects 2023 into After Effects in general in a long time is the way track mats are handled now in this new update. So make sure you right click, go to columns and make sure that modes is selected to see the track mats. And you'll notice how the track mats are no longer the simple, um, you know, luma mat, luma mat inverted, alpha mat, alpha mat inverted. You actually can select whatever layer you want to be a track mat for that layer. It doesn't need to be right on top of it. It doesn't need to be right below it. The layer ordering doesn't really matter so much anymore. You can just select one layer. It can be at the bottom of the stack, kind of out of the way, and that can be your track mat. And you can control whether it's luma mat, luma mat inverted, alpha mat, alpha mat inverted, and stuff like that. I did a video tutorial on this down below, so check that out. So you'll probably notice that keyframes look very, very different in this update. Even selecting keyframes look very, very different, and it looks a lot bolder, a lot poppier, so things really stand out more, so there's no confusion whether or not you actually selected a keyframe or not, and it looks really, really nice. And you'll also notice that we actually have keyframe color, so they're no longer that boring gray color. You can actually select keyframes, for example, right click on a keyframe, go to label and select whatever label you want, whether it's like a yellow color. And these are the same label colors as your layer label colors under preferences and labels. If you haven't updated your label colors to this beautiful kind of color scheme, check out my link article down below. You definitely need to change it. These are a lot nicer in my humble opinion. Go ahead and cancel. And so now we have really nice label colors for our keyframes, things look different. And you can actually select keyframes as well based on color. So, so we can go ahead and right click on our keyframe and select either all the yellow keyframes on our select layer, which will select both of these, or you can right click, go to select keyframe label group and select all yellow keyframes on all the layers in the comp. And just like that, you can kind of move things around. You know, it's not as important when you have very simple keyframes like this. But if you have several pairs of keyframes on a ton of layers, if you color code them correctly, this can be a huge time saver to select, you know, alternating or every other keyframe, for example, and select them very, very quickly based on label color. Very awesome change there. I'm very happy about that. One last bonus feature is that After Effects finally added and updated their animation presets. They added actually over 50 new presets from actual designers to be very, very useful in your arsenal. 
Um, so there are a whole bunch of new ones. Jake in motion actually did a video over some of the new ones um, that you can find. So I'm not gonna go over that in huge detail, but they added new presets for shapes, elements, text, tons of good stuff here. Some of my favorites are the slide and pop in one right here. So we can go ahead and drag that into our text layer. And that will give us a nice little slide in animation just like this. Very, very helpful for social media text. Just quick text, you know, to get things going. If you wanna do this kind of animation with more features, easing options, and more flexibility, check out my Typhlo preset, shameless plug. Another cool one is slide in from Comp Edge, and there's an in and out version as well. Um, just to kind of animate things in. And there are effects controllers to kind of animate um, from the top, the side, from end to star, character words, so on and so forth. So, so these are actually rigged up with controllers as well. So you can play with them and use them in your compositions. So they just got a whole bunch of designers like Evan Abrams and Jake in Motion to create really cool presets here. So I think Evan Abrams created a force anchor point preset here, which allows you to kind of define where the anchor point is. So you can go ahead and select like top left, for example, it'll push the anchor point that way or to the bottom left, for example. Um, the only downside is that it doesn't kind of reset the text. So it kind of moves the text to accommodate. Um, it doesn't shift the text to compensate for the anchor point move. You'll probably need to script for that. But yeah, a nice change at After Effects 2023. Before I go, I want to give a quick thanks to our sponsor over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is not one platform to create an amazing website, which is for your store, online business or portfolio. They have an amazing theme to choose from, fully customizable so you can make the way you want to look like without having any code knowledge required. They have awesome 25 hours of support, and best of all, if you support my code DOJO at checkout, you can actually save 10% off your order and support the DOJO, so check it out over at squarespace.com slash DOJO. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. So that's pretty much it guys. Let me know what your new favorite feature is in the After Effects 2023 version. Let me know in the comments down below for the YouTube algorithm. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.